Designing each creature is a collaborative effort between the character, concept, and animation departments. We start by trying to visualize the anatomy of the creature and ask ourselves if this is something that could actually exist. I mean, they're fantastical creatures, but we don't want them to defy the laws of physics. In order to become the best monster hunter, you must first learn how to understand your foes. Books and essays usually give you the information you need, where they can be found, their attack pattern, and what they fear. And it is your job to figure out the best way to kill them. Geralt has a lot of tools available at his disposal for fighting enemies in The Witcher 3. His steel sword, for instance, is used primarily for fighting human opponents, and his silver sword, which he uses for fighting monsters. Geralt can also use a crossbow for fighting ranged or flying foes that are trying to keep their distance from him. Crossbow is also very useful for fighting underwater against swimming monsters, such as the Siren. Harpies are vile feather creatures that fly around you and circle you. Now the only way to deal with them is first to bring them down. And that's where your art spell comes in handy. Sort of compressed air that will bring them down to the ground where you can finish them with your sword. Some monsters in The Witcher 3 can actually swim. These can attack the player while he's in the water and even go as far as attacking his boat. This can be really dangerous for the player if the monster has a natural affinity for water, such as the Drowner. Drowners are creatures that live in swamps and will snatch at anything that comes near their ponds. And these particular creatures absolutely hate fire and they fear it. And that's where your Igni spell a flame that bursts out of your hand comes in handy. And that is the best way to kill them. With the werewolf, a bomb filled with silver powder will take away his regenerative abilities. This will make it much easier for the player to defeat him after. The player can use weapon oils to coat his weapons that will make them do enhanced damage against specific enemy types. The real trick to using this though is to know when and where to use them. And that judgment is left up to the player based on his surrounding environment, the weather, and even territorial marks that other monsters may have left in the area. So we've created this complex behavior system in the game that actually allows these creatures to live in the world that they inhabit. They're never just gonna spawn in front of you artificially, and they don't just interact with the player. They interact with each other and with NPCs. We've created a unique ecosystem that includes monsters, animals, and humans, all living together, fighting, trying to survive, and you are merely a spectator. Now it is your choice to interfere with whatever is happening in front of you. But don't forget, every action you take in The Witcher has its own consequences.